this morning, people all across this country woke up and gasped, gasped, because the United States had bombed a hospital, bombed a hospital in Afghanistan, in the Kunduz province. There's fighting going on already such that the hospital just in the last week had treated 394 people, 59 of them children. And if you can just imagine, I don't know if very many of us would have been in this kind of situation, but I've been in hospitals and war zones and it's chaos. People bring their wounded relatives and everybody somehow wants to go in and so hospital workers have to, you know, prevent some people from entering in at all. And of course you have to get more cleanup people in because there's blood all over the floors and that's turning into puddles and doctors are not even sure what people have been hit with. And it's a time of chaos and upheaval and stress and anxiety and pain. And thank goodness that Médecins Sans Frontier has hospitals in war zones like this. And they were treating people in the Kunduz province. And because they know just how chaotic things can get, they sent the coordinates for exactly where their hospital geographically is located. They sent those coordinates to NATO, to the United States military, to the Afghan military, all of whom knew where that hospital was. And they bombed the intensive care unit. Aerial jets fired into the hospital. There were blazing flames. Hospital workers were collapsed in shock. And so somebody managed to call the military authorities and say, you've attacked a hospital. And the attack continued. And one report I read for a half hour, I called Chicago and worker Buddy Bell said NPR said it was for an hour and a half. Aerial bombardment of a hospital. At this point, 19 people have been killed. I'm sorry, 16 people killed. Nine of them hospital staff workers for Médecins Sans Frontier, Doctors Without Borders. And three of them children, and the others civilians, and 37 wounded, and they haven't yet accounted for people who might be buried under the rubble. And so I offer you the song that my women friends in the Lexington prison separated from their children, some of them for 10, 15 years in a merciless system. They're considered to be the criminals. I don't want anyone to go to jail, but I would love to see people rehabilitated who believe in weapons, in selling, storing, and using weapons.